Okay, so here we are with cart number four. I like this cart very much because it's a very, very simple way to teach your students how to count in a very quick way. So what you want to have them do and tell them that maybe the most difficult part about counting from one to one million is learning these nine numbers that I'm sure they already know or have at least an idea. So you tell them that the blue numbers are set this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. And to be careful with number three and number five, because when you use these numbers, the green and the red one, they're not going to be saying three, but third or fifth, right? So, for example, when you get to this number, you're going to be saying 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and so on. So it's pretty simple, right? When they look at the red numbers, they're going to be saying T, right? 20, 30, 40. 40, 50, 60, all right? Now, these ones are numbers that they usually have trouble with, so you might want to have them practice these three, 10, 11, and 12, which are not that common, right? Anyway, okay, now the, the 100, uh, I represent this one with a line and remind them that whenever I go like this, it's a 100, right? Every time you draw a line, there's a 100. So you might want to help them draw in a line underneath every hundred. So they're going to say one hundred, two hundred, and they're blue because you're going to be using these little words, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So that, now, that color kind of helps them out. Now, if they are able to read a three-digit number, then they can read up to almost one million. Now, all they have to do is learn how to read commas. So the, if there's only one comma, uh, they're going to have to say thousand, right? Now, I know I'm going too fast right now, but it's as simple as that. Give them two numbers, separate them. Let's say we have 100 on one side of the board and 200 on the other side. And then you're going to ask them to say the numbers, and they're going to say it very easily. You're going to say 100, and this one 200. Okay, now let's join these two numbers with this little comma. Okay, then I'm going to say 100,200, right? Now, the, so what you really want to do is have them practice three-digit numbers. That's all you, there is to it. Practice three-digit numbers. So what I advise you to do, and here we have like about ten different activities you can do, uh, is, for example, I write the number on the board, and uh, they are not supposed to see it. You, you ask a person to come up to the board, uh, back against the board, of course, so you write a number, and you set a timer, and you're going to see how long it takes this person to figure out the number. So, let's say uh, it's 635, right? But this person doesn't know it. So he could start by saying, okay, 500, and if it's higher, the class is going to say higher. If it's lower, they're going to say lower. So in this case, it's higher. So I'm going to say, okay, 600, oh, higher. 700, lower, okay, 650, higher, and so on, right? Until they get that number, you take the time and see who takes the least time to guess their number. It's a fun way to practice numbers. Uh, for pronunciation, you have this activity. It says listen to the numbers called out on the CD and write A, B, C, etc. in sequence. So the first number they're going to hear is 3, so they have to write an A, right, and so on. Here, there's an exercise where they have to be very careful if they're listening to a T sound or a teen. And that's where you want to tell them that you they're going to be stressing out teen a little bit more than T, right? The teen uh, is the second syllable, so that's where you stress it, 13, 14. And with the T numbers, you stress the first syllable, 20, 30, 40, etc. Okay, and here you have a mix of numbers, mix, mixture. Um, and a lot of other activities where you have to practice three-digit numbers. So this is a fun way to learn also, very practical, and all in one little card. And remember, this also comes with the activity file. There's lots of activities you can do. For example, uh, and there is a game called The Price is Right. So this is another very good way to uh, practice singular and plural which is exactly what they had done previously in card number three, remember? We were practicing singular nouns and plural nouns. So I would here I would cover this little thing and say, okay, how much is a guitar? 
and whoever comes uh, closest to the real price will keep the card, right? So that's another good way to practice numbers. Let's stay tuned for the next video on card number five. Have a great class.